Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in the beautiful Nashville studios. And you know, we moved here about four years ago, built this building, got this business running up here, moved out of California. I don't know if I've told you how much I like Tennessee, but I really like it. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I started thinking about you know my life and my career. Here I am, uh, about forty years into this business, and I, I thought to myself, what is you know what is the value of what are we doing here, and what, you know what have we done over the last forty years? And certainly, I've done a lot of videos and all that fun stuff, but. Uh, I've introduced some products that help uh, people shoot better, shoot faster, shoot more accurately, uh, operate their gun more efficiently, uh, be safer. Uh, and one of the items, and, and probably the most important item that I've ever manufactured, kind of invented and introduced uh, about 30 years ago, is the Tungsten Guide Rod for your Glock. Uh, the Glock comes with a plastic guide rod. A lot of people aren't aware of that. And, um, you know, the Glocks are, by nature, light because it has a polymer frame and a steel uh, upper. So it's lighter than a traditional steel gun uh, significantly. And that's one of the advantages of it. However, the disadvantage is that when you shoot it, it has a tendency to kind of pop around a little bit. Uh, a lot of people with a Glock will notice the muzzle flip. I mean, when, especially if you're shooting 40 caliber or even 10 millimeter, uh, you'll notice that there is a uh, snappiness to the Glock. And a lot of people, uh, you know, it affects their uh, ability to shoot accurately shot to shot. And I mean, anybody can stand there and look at the sights and, and shoot the first shot and boom. But then the second follow up shot, if you want to do it in a rapid pace, um, if your gun is jumping around and you, you know, it, no matter what kind of technique you have, it, it, it's, it's not gonna be as accurate as the first shot. So that said, uh, the tungsten guide rod helps improve your accuracy. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and look at this. This is a Glock 45, uh, which I really like. It's, it's now my personal gun. And um, I'm gonna build it up over a course of time here. I've already uh, uh, put a pyramid trigger inside of it. Uh, and I've, uh, uh, got our new uh, uh, the uh, HD uh, XR sights, which are the uh, uh, Trijicon HD XR extre extended range sights, and that means that the um, uh, front post is a little bit thinner. Uh, the rear post is uh, a wider U, which allows for faster target acquisition, faster sight. Uh, acquisition and allows you to really get on target a little faster and it's designed really for you know self-defense close quarter fast shooting uh, it's not a precision sight that you know you'd take to 50 yards I mean you could but it really is designed for close-up fast targets and so now that said the tungsten guide rod marries very well with that. So what I'll be doing here is I'm going to go ahead and show you the demonstrate, demonstrate the uh, installation of the tungsten guide rod, which is probably the easiest thing to do. And like I said, it is probably the most important thing we sell. Certainly one of the most popular things we sell. Uh, when you buy a Glock, you know, you'll, you know, the guns are great the way they are, but if you want to improve it, uh, we like to improve our trigger. We like to improve the sights and I like to manage recoil. And that's what this tungsten guide rod does. So, Here's our Glock 45. I'm going to go ahead and verify that it is empty. Whenever you work on guns, you want to make sure it's empty. We don't have any ammunition on the table. No ammunition in the room. Uh, there's no magazine in this gun, so I know that it's basically unloaded. But I'm going to go ahead and peek inside and look inside the chamber and make sure that it's unloaded. Now, every time I pick that gun up, when it's out of my possession, I'm going to do the same exact thing. Because I don't want to forget that I loaded it by mistake. And that's what typically happens. Uh, I've been around this business long enough to know everybody I've talked to, all the, you know, the big, big time shooters, uh, you know, I'm talking, you know, Bill Wilson, Mike Blacksco, uh, Jerry Barnhart, you know, Rob Lake, everybody, every one of those guys has had an accidental discharge. And it typically happens when they didn't realize they loaded the gun because they do it so often that it becomes automatic. So please understand that, you know, your responsibility is every time you pick that gun up, Verify that it's unloaded, pull the trigger in a safe direction, now we can work on it. That said, now here's how we do the disassembly here. And you've seen me do this a million times, but I'll do it again for in case this is your first time. You take your finger and your, your whole hand just rotate it on top of the slide like so. What we're trying to do is going to pull the slide back just about a quarter of an inch to take pressure off of the slide lock or the slide uh, the takedown lever, basically the slide lock. So we're going to go ahead and pull that back. And now on both sides, just like that, I'm going to pull down on the slide lock. 
We do sell an extended version. I have not yet installed it on this gun. I will do that in a separate video. All right, so we pull the slide off. We want to maintain the slide. We don't want to let it just fall down and slip off and, and hit the table. We want to maintain it in our hands so that it doesn't do that because if it falls, it will damage that nose ring there. And if that gets bent or cracked, it's basically toast, as they say. <laughs> now, there's the upper, there's the lower. We'll be working on that later. Uh, I'm going to put that off the side. The upper itself consists of the barrel, which everybody knows, the sights, of course. And then inside is the guide rod and the striker or the firing pin and the safety plunger uh, that actually uh, prevents the firing pin from going forward unless you are actually pulling the trigger. So that's a, one of the good safeties that Glock has built into this gun. The guide rod comes out very simply. All we want to do now is we want to push forward and depress the spring a little bit with our thumb, just like this, push it forward and lift it out. And there it comes. The barrel can also come out just like that. But for this demonstration, we don't need to take the barrel out. I just wanted to show you. And it drops in and it marries itself up. And there it is. Okay, now. We offer two different types of tungsten guide rods. The original tungsten guide rod and the pure tungsten guide rod. The original tungsten guide rod is a copper tungsten blend. It's significantly heavier than the factory plastic version. So this is the factory plastic. You can feel, you, you can know kind of in your hand, wow, it's kind of light. Yes, it is. Especially when you compare it to the tungsten options. The pure tungsten is pure tungsten. It is significantly heavier than this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure these out here on a little food scale that uh, does grams. So we get pretty accurate. And this thing is about 18 grams. I've already done it. So it's 18 grams. That's the factory. The original tungsten is going to push out to about 48 grams. I've already measured these, so I'm just going to do it again for you right here. And that's actually 42 grams. Excuse me. So that's 42 grams for that one. And the pure tungsten, I have measured out at about 70 or 71. It's 71 grams. So there are your three options. Factory plastic, tungsten, or the pure tungsten. Now, the nice thing about the pure tungsten, you'll notice, it's got a one spring versus a dual spring. So that allows us to manage the spring weights. So if you're shooting with a suppressor or you're shooting with a compensator or you just want to have a lighter spring because it's easier to manipulate, that's a good option with this uh, pure tungsten rod because it allows you to manage spring weights. We uh, offer uh, different spring weights for this that are, are lower. Typically, the spring weight on this 45 uh, Gen 5 is about 17 to 18 pounds. All right, so there's the three options. Uh, the plastic one, like I said, I'm going to replace. I am going to elect to put the pure tungsten in because it's the best one. It is the most expensive, but it also is the best one. Now, the, the installation, like I said, is so simple. Uh, this is something you can do in less than a minute. I'm talking through it and, and dragging it out. But basically what we're going to do is take the head, just put it into the nose ring, bring this down, and compress the spring and drop it down all the way. A lot of people, one of the questions people often ask me, uh, and I, I hear it all the time, is that, hey, which ledge does it go on? And it goes on the bottom ledge, as you can expect. So if you look at the, uh, the barrel, you'll see there's a, a rounded ledge down there, and there's kind of more of a flat ledge. And you actually want that guide rod to be living in the uh, bottom. Sometimes people take their gun apart, and it's actually living up on top, because it kind of came out a little bit. That's okay. It's normal. It will find itself once the, it's seated. It, you know, the gun's going to actually compress itself together. But you want to install this so that the rounded part intersects with the rounded part of the guide rod itself. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the barrel back in. And guide rod goes in. And depress it just a little bit. Make sure it's on the bottom. Should look kind of like that. And now we just take our frame and we line up our rails. Now, uh, I always want to be careful that I don't misalign one of the rails. I have, <laughs> honestly, I've done it so many times. I've, I've done it where I've got uh, the two rails in the front on, and I come back on the back here, and for whatever reason, somehow I miss the rails in the back, and all of a sudden it's on top. 
and that's a real mess because then it kind of gets stuck somewhat. So you always want to make sure that when you get back to here, they actually get the line, the rails lined up. You get it kind of set. Everything looks good. And now we'll go ahead and rack it, and which will lock itself in place. And that's where the slide lock actually locks the, the, the whole slide up into the uh, frame. And that's it. That's the installation. Like I said, this is, the Tungsten Guide Rod is the most popular item we sell. I mean, without a doubt. It is also the item that when you install it and you go from the plastic guide rod to the Tungsten Guide Rod and you shoot, you go, wow. There's a wow factor. I mean, we get a lot of wow factors on a pyramid trigger because it's a big difference and a big upgrade. But the other wow factor is that the gun does not jump around. So when my wife shoots the nine millimeter. I put the tungsten guide rod, make sure she's got it in her gun. It's a huge difference. And we've got them available for all the Glocks across the board. Uh, the 43X is a real good example. That's a small little gun with a plastic guide rod. We put the tungsten guide rod in there and the difference is dramatic. You have less jumpiness. So now think about what's happening. As you're shooting and you want to shoot rapid shots, all of a sudden now your groups will tighten up. And I guarantee if you do a test yourself, when you shoot with the plastic guide rod and you go to the tungsten guide rod, you will have tighter groups, you will be more accurate, you'll be more consistent, and you'll be safer because of those reasons. I mean, safety comes down to hitting the target you want to, want to hit when you're supposed to hit it. Okay, you know, that's what safety is all about. You, you know, if you're ever in a situation and you can't control the firearm and you're shooting and you're missing and hitting people in the background, that's not very safe. But the tungsten guide rod, I'll tell you, will, will improve your shooting dramatically in every way. And I guarantee it because I know we've sold literally and I tell you over the last 30 years we've sold over 500,000 guide rods and everybody loves them and I know you will too. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. We're here in Nashville. Now check us out also not only here on YouTube but on Rumble because now we're going to be starting our Rumble channel for a lot of obvious reasons. <laughs> so Please check us out on Rumble. Also, of course, YouTube. Uh, we, uh, we love the YouTube channel. We love uh, being able to communicate with our customers. Uh, but they are making it a little bit tough on some gun people. So we're, you know, plan B is Rumble. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.